Hi, I'm Jim from Left Wing Libertarian. And I am Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. This is part two of Anna's 25th wedding anniversary event where she asked for, and of course got, a DNA testing to find out what level of mutt we are. Yeah. So of course on our anniversary we took, what, a simple cheek swab and went, and we were done? A bottle of spit. Ugh, gross. If you haven't seen that video, it's it's charming. Check it out. Check it out at a dinner party with other people charming. around. So, here are the results that you've been waiting for. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Anna. That is nothing. You are part Chinese. I'm not Chinese. Anna, what are you? I don't know. Okay, let's flip so. over and see what Anna is. Okay. Ethnicity estimate. 76% Ireland. Hmm. 12% Europe West. That what does that mean? Ireland, Scotland, England. Okay, so why isn't that all tied up in Ireland? Or is that like they can't determine? Yeah, they can't determine. 6% Finland, Northwest Russia. Hmm. Where did that come from? I don't know. And then it doesn't let me... It says two more regions. See full ethnicity estimate. Let's click on that. Okay. Okay. Um, 76% Ireland, 12% <clears throat> Western Europe... And let's click that. Gives you a map. It does. It gives you a little map and it has the areas highlighted. So here, no, this is, that's wrong. This is the Western Europe part. Um, the Netherlands, Germany, France, Switzerland, Austria, and the Czech Republic. Good eye contact with the camera during this segment. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I have to read, I can't read that. Um, Finland and Northwest Russia. Mm -hmm. I have 6% there. That was there. when the Vikings uh, invaded, uh, and, okay. invaded England. So this is interesting. Trace regions, 4% Great Britain. There's actually a town in England called Bilbro, which is my maiden name. So I'm a little surprised that it says I'm only 4% from Great Britain and 2% Scandinavia. Hmm. Again, that Viking heritage of where all those Vikings came and when they invaded England, conquered it. Okay. Or Ireland. That's, you know, yeah, maybe that's all where that British comes Isles. from. Yes. Okay. The Celts. Okay, and your husband is? My husband is? 100% awesome. 94% <laughs> Europe East. Which is Lithuania. Is it Lithuania? Yes, it is. It is Lithuania. Now, okay, so just in case you are wondering. How are you 94% Lithuania and no Irish? You are 5% Finland and Northwest Russia. Yeah, I'm all Lithuanian. And less than 1% Scandinavia. But your mother claims that both of her parents, or one of her parents, your mother complains. Uh, yeah. Your mother, she complains a lot. Your mother claims a lot, yes. Irish ancestry. There's no Irish in here at all. No. No. Because no, I told you, I'm my father's child. The only thing's bad about me I got from my mother, and that's only because she was around the house. Okay, that's not very nice to say. Well, it's the truth. Okay, so... Now, you may be wondering, ah, bah, 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 this isn't that accurate. First off... Uh, on my account at Ancestry, when we got the email, they said, you might match these people. One of them is my cousin, who does the Scamarakis family, all the way to the Scamarakis Zomitis Wheeler family, family tree. Uh, she's an engineer who recently retired from Ford Motor Company, and she's a well-documented uh, genealogist. So, okay, but it's interesting that you say that because it gives you, I guess these are other people that have had their DNA tested. Are you on mine or yours? I'm on yours. Yes. Now, the other thing that it found was my cousin, who is in Lithuania still, who we all know is in Lithuania, who did the same testing. And without telling Ancestry DNA I knew these people or Ancestry.com, uh, it matched me to these people. So, um... I don't know how to show these people this screen, but, oh my goodness. Um, it gives you a list of people that it believes That's who, the Vikings in Valhalla celebrating your who, admission. Okay, so these people have done the DNA testing. Mm -hmm. So according to... Well, of course they had to. According to Ancestry.com, you have, and it says, extremely high degree of confidence. You are second cousin with one, two, three, four, 
five, six people. Yes. Extremely high. Yes. Third cousin, you have two more, although this lady appears on both lists. Yeah, because they can't tell you whether oh, she's no, second. Oh, no, she or, doesn't. It says this one is yeah, administered. Yeah, is administered by. Yeah. Okay. Because she was helping somebody else do this as part of the program. Okay. And then you have like a ton of fourth cousins. Yes. The thing is, though, when we load up the Scamarakis family tree later this week into the Ancestry.com program, some of these people will get plucked out and put in and filled in because, you know, we'll actually be claiming them. But we're claiming them because not because of the DNA. We're claiming them because we actually know their family. This is very interesting. Okay, now I have to go back to mine. Okay. And where did I find that? I have to go back, right? I don't know. Can't see which one. DNA matches. Okay. Okay, so again, these are people that took the DNA testing. Yes. I have one third cousin, uh, extremely high. Mm -hmm. Can I hit this view match? So it right now it, it it has a little bar. It says third cousin A B administered by L Shudek. Um, possible range third or fourth cousin. Confidence extremely high. Then it lets you click on that match. Uh, we are. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what this We is. are not in the process of taking over Marianne's oh. position as the family genealogist. <laughs> Discover how you're connected. And now it wants me to... Now it wants me to sign up and join Ancestry. Which, of course, Anna will be doing because she wants to populate out doing, the family tree. I want to see the whole deal. But it lets you... Does it let you send a message to these people? It does. It lets you send a message to people that you are possibly related to. Um, I guess what's interesting to me is I don't know any of these people. Hmm. Um, what does this mean? 17,114 people. Is that how many he's related to this person? It tells you though. Like is it these, that mailman from wherever that was? Detroit? These are fourth, fourth to sixth cousins. And it gives me either they are like extremely highly confident that this person is related to me, uh, very high, or they have a good level of confidence. So they kind of rank that. It's interesting because I don't see any Irish names on here. Um, Do you see any Scandinavian names? Veneruso, uh, Tia Rusi. Well, you know, Irish people can marry non Irish people. Mr. Jane. That's why your husband's all Lithuanian. Freybot. And again, these don't have to actually be their real names. I'm not sure. Now the question is, if we send the kids in, will they come up as matching us? Well, and what percentage would they be? I don't know. Do we do that for your birthday? I don't know, but it would be interesting. Hmm. See the DNA matches you share with your mother. It ha what is, Do you get a deal if your mother wants to test? I don't know. Enter the payment information. Payment information. Is it? Well, yeah, both, they want money. Both of, of my parents are gone, so I wouldn't be able to verify which side of the family any of this is on through their DNA testing. Now, I would really I believe be interested. your father thought he might have become a saint. Didn't he save all his toenail clippings? He, he was going to save all his toenail clippings. If you need relics of my dad prior to him becoming a saint, they're around somewhere. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That alone was enough to not have me marry you. My dad was a funny guy. That's not funny. That's gross. So, I, you know, what this basically does, it, it opens up more questions for me. Like, where, where does this Finland or Northwest... And you know what? We have to travel there now. I have told... How many years have I said to you, I really want to go to Russia? I want to go see Russia. Now I know why. I, I'm drawn there. They're my people. <laughs> das Vidanya. <laughs> Those are my people. I gotta go see. How how long did I want to go to Ireland? I finally got to Ireland, and now I have to go to Russia. What language do they speak in Russia? Russian. <laughs> what language do they speak in Russia? Well, they use the Cyrillic alphabet. Do they speak Russian? They it was invented Russian. by Paul Cyrillo. No, it wasn't. 
So it lets you share. Who does it let you share this with? See, that's funny. Toenails in a jar. That's it lets you. <laughs> I know it's gross. It lets you share it on Facebook, share it by email, or copy the link. No one will be able to see your DNA matches or more detailed information about your tests. Um, so if you click Facebook, it does pop up your ethnicity results on Facebook and it just shows them it's a pie chart with the breakdown of like 76% Ireland, 12% Europe. Um, I don't know, this was really interesting, but it does. It opens up more questions than it does answers. I would love to know where the Finland Russian family connection is. The Vikings invading Great Britain. Or Ireland. Well, the British Isles. Mm -hmm. The United Kingdom. God save the Queen. And Europe West included Scandinavia and things mm -hmm. like that. So it is. I mean, these are people that could have possibly gone to Ireland and, you know, violated my people. I'm mm. not going to say any more than that. Um... <laughs> Honey, I'm going to post. Oh, so many things I could say that would get edited out and posted. Yeah, so I'm going to go there. Why do you leave me on? This, 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 was very, oh. this was very interesting. What does this mean? We haven't found a new ancestor discovery for you yet. Do you have one? Well, I mean, since the last time you clicked the page. Oh. You know, just a few seconds ago. In five minutes. Give them a minute. Okay. They're trying to, you know, they're trying. This is really one of the, I guess the closing thing is that if you're going to have this done, go to a larger like Ancestry.com, which we don't have an affiliate or anything with. It's just, why would you go to Joe's DNA lab if you're not going to get all that information of other people and possibly turn it into a family tree? Because really, you know, you're going to get back the results and like Anna, you're going to find out you're half Chinese. I mean, what difference does it make? No Chinese. As if you couldn't tell by my hair and my eye color and my skin color. But it is it is very interesting. Again, it does open up more questions and it does make you want to join Ancestry.com. Now, if we had done it through an agency that doesn't have this whole Ancestry affiliation, we'd be done here. Yeah. But we're not done. We can we can pursue we can it make further. A part three. We can do a part three. Right. I'm very interested in how that I'm 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 not floored because I feel like I'm, I am mostly Irish, 76%, and we can almost justify the uh, Western Europe and the Finlandian connection as Irish. And are you surprised that I'm 100% Lithuanian? Um, I am. I think that surprises me more than anything on mine because your mother was adamant that she was Irish. And according to this, there's nothing in your DNA to suggest that you're Irish. Like, not even that region. It doesn't even take you there. So you have no Irish in you. So so what is your mother? That, that would be a really interesting question. Okay. Yeah. So uh, there you have it. I am uh, a little less Irish than I thought I was. He's a little more Lithuanian than I thought he was. I told you all along I was a pure Lithuanian. And you were always like, what about your mother? And I'm like, what about her? Always now, told, now you got. Always told me she was Irish. I don't know. I've told you the entire time I'm Lithuanian, and you're like you're Irish. I'm like no, I'm not. I'm Lithuanian. This is that genetic test proves what I've been telling you for years. Yeah, I just I don't I don't get it. <laughs> it's exactly what I've been telling I, you. I don't get it. I would tell people I'm Lithuanian. She go, you're part this and that. I'm like no, I'm not. I'm Lithuanian. Your mother claimed Irish ancestry. There is zero Irish ancestry in your DNA. I makeup. have relatives in Lithuania. People in Lithuania I've spoken to. I speak a little Lithuanian. It's just I'm. It's there is no doubt. It's. Are just, you sure you're not adopted? Huh? <sighs> would it make a difference? Well, your mother, who again claims Irish ancestry, and she's right. Is her last name? W R I G H T. Clearly, clearly That's not a her knowledge of her name. ancestry is wrong. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Again, <clears throat> we have not been paid by Ancestry DNA. I think this is really, really interesting. I certainly think it'll Bridget, bring up. I'm adopted, and so are you, and we have that in common. Um, I think this will bring up interesting conversations with our children, with my cousins and aunts and uncles, stuff that they maybe didn't know about themselves. Again. I don't know which side of the family this comes from. Uncle Bud, Aunt Lee, Uncle Bobby, Aunt Joan, if you want a DNA test, I'm happy to pay this for it. This will certainly be a question to ask Marianne. How can I be 
if people are saying something else and I'm telling you 100% Lithuanian and that tells you I'm Lithuanian. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Very All right. interesting indeed. Sign us out. Uh, I am Anna from beautygirlsmom.com. If you are interested in more of our unusual journeys, just click subscribe wherever it appears on your screen. Das Vidanya.